Hey guys, what's up? This is Kingbox, and today I'm gonna to be talking about Renown Score. Now, all Renown Score typically is is Gear Score, and the first time I've ever heard of it was in a game called World of Warcraft back in the day, and it got big there. And then after a while, it started showing up in just about every game you can imagine. But that's essentially what the Renown Score is. It's Gear Score. We even called it Gear Score before they came out with this Renown system. Now they did some tweaking to this Renown system, and now it gives bonus attributes or whatever and that's what a lot of players are actually kind of i guess some players are happy about it. it i guess it's it's a mixed feelings about it you know some players love it some players hate it now how you get to this number is your max ap plus your max dp and that's your renown score right but it's not that simple your main hand is is your main weapon until you have a uh, awakening equip once the awakening equip awakening will always be your primary weapon period it will always go off of that as you can see here if i unequip this this um awakening you see that my renown score went up by a little bit because my main hand now becomes the main weapon okay until there is awakening in the picture then it goes off of the awakening ap now just because my awakening actually has say if my awakening was a pry and say if it had the same ap as the main hand right so the awakening in the main hands has the ap your awakening is always going to hit harder just for the pure fact that it actually borrows and gets ap from the main hand that's not actually shown on cheat um it tests have shown it to be anywhere from 30 to 60 percent of the ap nobody really knows sadly so if anyone ever actually tells you just like ask them for proof um to be honest and that's all that really matters right so this is what we're going to do now we're going to talk about renown score so as you can see here your renown title actually gives you bonuses and this is actually i believe what they're going to remove and a lot of people don't understand why they're removing this because a lot of people haven't been very high gear score but to, to show you how much of a difference um siege players or how much advantage siege players actually have on you guys i'm going to show you guys here in a bit so you see you have beginner you have rookie you have the skilled you have the dark horse the veteran the undaunted um the noble one and the great one now someone the great one versus like something like the veteran you may think that you have a chance you don't you're going to after they remove the way this system actually works and i'm going to show you right here i'm going to drag this over for you guys so this chart right here kind of sums it up i'm going to have this in the description of the video for anybody that wants to kind of you know check it out basically what this is is just explaining what renown is or whatever and how it adds up to equal um gear score you know renown score but it's essentially what i told you it's gear score right but this is what we want so you see you have renown score here and then you have the titles so this goes through all the titles right now you have a chart of the actual benefits that you get from being a certain renown score so these are benefits that you're getting just from hitting these little things and they're massive so this is the ap bonuses and as you can see from 88 renown score all the way up to 104 170 and above you get a maximum of plus 20 ap plus 20 ap is nothing to sneeze about especially when you think about an accessory going from try to tat adding about three ap but causing anywhere from two to ten billion you know such a large gap right but this is the big thing i'll show you guys right now so here is the damage reduction bonus right and this one's okay this is what normal people usually get to so as you can see it doesn't look so big right and actually let me see if i can let me actually see if i can big this up for you guys a little bit I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, if your renown score or your gear score is 68, you'll get plus one damage reduction. It's not big at all, right? So say average player of BDO is about 400 gear score. So the highest right here is 395. Or what? Matter of fact, we'll go to the next level. Um, 436, right? You're gonna get damage reduction plus nine. Doesn't seem like a lot, right? So then you start breaking in to the 500s. Now this is where things get tricky. So at 497, just from the Renown score system alone, you get um, damage reduction plus 35. Now this is all damage across the board. This isn't just like range damage, magic damage, or physical damage. This is all damage across the board reduced, right? So then you get to 504, you're at 40. 
So you go all the way down here and you see that now we're starting to get about 552 is probably the lowest um, gear score siege player, right? Or we'll say five, 540, um, 545. So you have such massive gains like 70 damage reduction and then you see people at 572 that are at damage reduction 100. So when they when people start getting to these places, you kind of understand how much damage reduction extra they have on you. And this is this doesn't show on the actual gear. Um, like you know, this doesn't show in game as far as like on your renowned score. Like you're gonna get like a hundred more DP or whatever. This is flat out damage reduction. This makes these people impossible to kill for anybody that's you know lower than 500 really like there this is this is a massive thing that kind of makes these high level geared siege players gods right and make them untouchable allows them to take on a whole guild you know so this is actually what's what's going away this is the big thing this is why everyone's like so excited and i guess happy um i don't know if people are really happy about it um to be honest i've never been above 520 gear score before so I'm just to be real with you guys. I don't know how this is going to affect. I haven't played the game too serious, or whatever, in a long time, and I'm finally just now coming back and really getting into it or whatever. But I, I have played since this system has been into play. I just didn't know these numbers because these aren't typical numbers that they actually show you. Somebody took their hard time and put in work to figure all this stuff out. And yeah, you even so this right here is territory fame and what this pretty much is is um knowledge so as you gain knowledge in the world and i actually i'll make a video about this actually later um this doesn't play too big of a part into this but this does play a part into actually getting really nice percent drop chances for everything this is actually way better than luck so this is something i'll, I'll talk about later but for right now i just really want to go over renowned score and here here it is right here in game still and as you can see um just from being 424 right now i'm getting um 16 ap plus 16 awakening weapon ap now and um damage reduction i'm getting only plus eight so actually let's get the chart is correct so where am i at i'm at 420 i'm at 424 so let's find 424 actually you can't even find it but i will be right here so th it is correct i am exactly getting eight damage reduction at 14 16 so right here is where i would be so this you can tell that this chart is pretty accurate actually i'll take off something and see if anything changes so now we're at actually i'll take off two pieces whoa what the hell oh, okay it did drop me down okay 290 so we're at 292 we dropped down to eight damage reduction i mean five damage reduction and plus eight ap and plus um eight awakening ap right so right here this is where we're at so we're right under so 292 if we had one more point we would literally go up two more ap so this chart is what you can look to look at but you don't really need this chart this chart is just telling you like like you know where you need to get to oh how much more ap or how much more gear score or renown score do you need to jump up another level but apparently this is what's kind of what they're taking away so we're not going to have to worry about all these extra bonus stats and i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing to be honest but as you can see it's accurate this will be in the description of the video down below make sure to like subscribe and press the notification buttons for more videos also comment down below if you would like to see me do a first impression review of any new games or whatever or even old games as long as they're free to play or on steam they don't even have to be on steam um, just make a recommendation down in the comments or whatever and i'll try to get that video out as soon as possible um i'm gonna do another archer video soon I just want to wait until you know the they fully give me all the skills and stuff like that so we can know what know what we're up to and know what we're doing but so far I'm at 916 skill points and I am almost 70% into um, 58 so hopefully maybe later on tonight or tomorrow night I will hit um, 59 and then I'm gonna focus on all the main quests and stuff like that then I will yeah I guess I'll be I'll be set. I'll be happy. So peace out guys. This is King Vox. Have a blessed day.
and happy holidays.